Hey, welcome to the channel and welcome to part two of the Algonquin Park solo camping vlog. Now, if you haven't seen part one, we did leave it off on kind of a cliffhanger. So if you didn't see part one, please either click here or you can check in the description. It'll be right at the top. I figure since it's my second video, I should actually introduce myself. My name is Arun Chedi and I'm just launching this social media project. It's called Your Best Life by Design. And you can check it out on different platforms at Best Life by Design. And I'll do another video describing what exactly I'm planning to do with this. But really, I'm inspired and I feel really passionate about making great content for you guys. Content that revolves around accomplishing your goals, pursuing your peace, awakening your passions, mastering your happiness. Things that come to my mind when I think about living your best life. So I hope you do enjoy part two of this vlog and feel free to let me know in the comment section what you want me to do next, what you'd like to see me take on. Stick with me, I promise there's some good stuff on the way. Lovely. Can't get food there. Kindling was pretty wet at the permit office. Uh, let me go check maybe the store downstairs. Maybe that's my next best bet. Craziness, craziness. If not, protein bar will have to do. Okay, I am really sorry about all the frantic uh, cuts and running around and being hyper. But um, yeah, the restaurant was closed as you saw op uh, early. The permit office didn't have any better kindling, but the girl downstairs at the Portage store, store was a lifesaver. Got me some charcoal lighter. That's, that's bulletproof. That'll work even on wet wood. So thankfully I'll have I'll have fire tonight and in the morning because it doesn't matter what kind of wood it is, charcoal lighter will catch anything. So it's 6.55. I'm gonna get back to the side after seven. It's probably gonna be pitch black by the time I'm back. No problem. Boil some water, eat some lasagna. Oh, it's gonna be good. I'll get back to you in a second, right? When I'm back at the site. to go okay all right we're in business so lighter fluids here wet wood is here lighters here that's all we need gonna spark that flame up boil that water I have to get the lasagna gonna dive into a little bit of Canadian whiskey I think that's well earned after the day we had today and figure out what the hell we're gonna do tomorrow because by now I was supposed to be in the back country by about 1 2 p.m. and uh, enjoying that so seeing that we're now 7 30 p.m. We're still not in the backcountry. We broke a knife. We had a long struggle with some wood. Had to deal with a lot more people than was anticipated. Honestly, kids, honestly, is now the time? Is that necessary right at this moment? A lot of curveballs. So I just gotta reset, make sure, you know, I have a good plan going and um, do what makes sense because there's no such thing as overthinking it in this situation. Record, I hate the smell of lighter fluid. And that'll do it. Canadian whiskey, a little water, lemon lime, electrolyte beverage. Only the best, only the best here. To you guys for keeping me company. Apart from you guys, I had no one else to talk to, so cheers and here's to here's to tomorrow, whatever tomorrow brings. Oh that is that is very good. It's like a whiskey sour. It's basically lemonade whiskey or what do you call that whiskey sour or tom collins i don't know drinks i don't know time to go to sleep i gotta think about tomorrow i probably won't update the vlog tonight 
I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Currently 9.15. I lied, about 9.45. I don't have a watch, it's okay. So I did think about it quite a lot, about what to do today. So obviously, if I'm here, that means I'm not gonna go into the back country. Sometimes I feel, I feel the universe has body language. It kind of gives you signs. And I feel like everything so far on this trip was kind of suggesting, look, you're in a beautiful location anyway. Enjoy it. Uh, this isn't the right time to, to push all the way back there. Um, honestly, the biggest concern for me is the paddle. Like when I take a canoe out by myself to fish, it's kind of a struggle for me to, to manage the whole, the whole steering and staying straight, and especially in a bigger canoe, right? So I didn't want to run into any issues with that. That, that was a, definitely a concern. The other factor was that I've already been kind of outdoors for a day so naturally that wears you down a little bit so I didn't want to go in already a bit worn I'd rather go in to the backcountry camping deal with 100% you know trail here. I already, as you saw, I packed up my site, had breakfast, got in the car, and then made my way over here. The situation is I'm hiking this trail. At some point on the trail, there's supposedly a very scenic, oh man, hang on, give me a second here. This is what I have to descend here real quick. Should be in the clear, and we're good. Okay. Yeah, sorry, so there's a lookout. There's a lookout where we're going. Um, it, the whole trail is 7.7 .7 kilometers, so it's not short, not entirely long either. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get to that lookout before the afternoon crowds. Now I am a happy camper, unlike what yesterday evening when I might have uh, had to eat a protein bar for dinner or ask someone to boil my water for me. This morning I'm feeling great. going to just uh, soak this in because we are really privileged and blessed to, to have access to this. Uh, in Toronto. What are you eating? Look at this little model just loving the camera. Can't get any closer and she was like, yeah, I'm eating here. I don't got time for this. Okay, there you go. All right.
next time you see a sign like this, don't do what I did. The portage is this way. The hiking trail is this way. See, that's what these arrows mean, not the opposite like I understood. That will just take you to the river. I mean, it was a nice walk, nice river, but gotta go that way. Oh, that's fantastic. Whoop, don't slip. All right, there we go. All right. So I didn't uh, I didn't update the vlog up at the, the lookout. Um, I know you guys saw the footage though. It felt a bit tacky and I was really enjoying the moment. It's way later than I thought. It's 1.36. So I should be, uh, be out of here by 2.30. This hike was incredible. There were two girls who were on the trail with me and I, I really came to film content. It wasn't so much just for the hike. I mean, I've hiked a lot, but we were kind of hiking nearby each other the whole way up and they saw me filming and I saw them taking photos and whatnot. And they had a map and they actually encouraged me to go all the way to the lookout trail. I was gonna turn around uh, about two kilometers in and go film somewhere else, somewhere else in Algonquin Park, but they're like, you're pretty, you know, they're, they're, they're a few words of encouragement really made the decision obvious to keep going. So I did, and I'm really happy I did. Uh, it, was, it was worth it. Actually, no, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna wash my face here. This water is too clear and too nice and it's too cool and refreshing. That's what's gonna happen. Okay, just dropped off the sleeping bag. Man, that trail was tough. I'll have to, I'll have to talk about it after. But I gotta eat, because I had oatmeal and I had a protein bar at the top of the trail, and I didn't even plan to eat at the top of the trail. I totally underestimated it. I didn't take any food. I went through my backpack and thankfully I found a protein bar. That's a good thing about keeping a protein bar in all your extra bags. But, time to hit the road, get food, and debrief with you guys later. Cue the time lapse now. All right, first of all, I wish I had two more hands so I could give that Burger King four thumbs up. Final points. I'm really happy the way, it, the way it unfolded. As I said earlier, I feel like when little things happen, there's, there's a story to it and it's not just all random. The fact that two or three things were sort of not going my way and a few curveballs, I didn't want to take that energy into like a higher risk area. Um, the whole fire mix up, all that stuff, it's part of life. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how like upset or disturbed or frustrated I seemed in the moment, but I've done a, a bit of survival training and, and I know like intellectually, I know that our body goes like three weeks without food, no problem. Mind you, if, if I had two options, like one to eat, one to not really eat, my preference would have been to eat. That's why I did all I did to eat. <laughs> uh, the trail, though it was trying, it was incredibly rewarding and I haven't hiked like that in a long time so that was a plus I got a hell of a leg and butt workout all in all a solid 36 hours no doubt about it uh, one thing I was gonna say you know I'm really grateful because one I have the ability to do that what I just did get in my car drive three hours be in 
I mean my definition of paradise. Two, there's another level of gratitude. You know, a lot of times if you take a vacation or you go hiking or whatever, you come back and whether things went your way or they didn't, it's not a guarantee that you always come back from these things scotch-free and healthy and injury-free. You know, I believe in infinite possibilities. I believe that anything could have transpired on that trip. I could have gotten into an accident. I could have, I, I like today on that trail, I wasn't wearing the best footwear. As I said, the Crocs I have, I'll show you the bottom of them. So these were the Crocs I was wearing. The bottom of these are like glass pretty much. I've had these for like eight years. They're not even real Crocs. They're Walmart brand Crocs. I, I should probably buy some, some Crocs with some grip. So that's what I was hiking in, in all those muddy conditions, the whole way up and down. And it wouldn't have been unlikely or, or, or surprising entirely if, you know, I stepped on a rock poorly and because of those Crocs and because of the conditions, I rolled an ankle or I twisted a foot or whatever injuries could have occurred, but they didn't. And I feel like we ought to not take it for granted that, as I said, I think I said it earlier, you know, I, I thanked whatever power you want to call it, which looked after me and kept me safe and kept me in good spirits and really physically safe. That That's huge. I had a blast. I look forward to doing, doing it again. I'm sorry if there were any mistakes or blunders or editing errors or whatever in this vlog. Obviously, I'm brand new to this. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like, leave, leave a comment. You know, if you didn't like it, leave a comment too and... Send me some hate, I could use some of that in my life, no problem. Oh, I know for sure I could have done certain things better. But I thought it was still a pretty cool adventure. I had fun and I hope you guys had fun watching. With that being said, I appreciate your time. There's so much content on YouTube and all these different outlets. So thank you again, whether you subscribe or comment or like or not or hate or whatever, whatever you gotta do, I appreciate your time. And seriously, I cannot wait to share my next adventure with you. So you guys are the best. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Peace. But also... See that fish jump? That was incredible. Oh man, I should've brought my fishing rod. Ah. See, that's worrying me now. So it's mastering me. But, <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, I'm not over it. I'm not over it. Oh, that's so neat.